So what is the OpenAI chatbot? I pulled up a couple pages here to just explain a few things about this and I tried it out briefly today. It is very interesting technology. And so here I did a search on Google asking what is OpenAI chat GPT. And so as it says here, this was just three days ago, uh, December 4th, 2022. On Thursday, OpenAI released ChatGPT, a bot that converses with humans via cutting-edge artificial intelligence. The bot can help you write code. That's the part that I'm mostly interested, being a programmer. But it does much more than that. Compose essays, dream up stories, decorate your living room. And that's just what people discovered on day one. So if you're a programmer or not a programmer, uh, I would suggest you give it a look. You can get an account, which I pulled up that screen to show you the basic process. So here is the URL. It's https colon slash slash chat dot open ai.com and then you go to the sign up page and it says you need an account so then you have to go through a few steps put in your email address if you have a google or microsoft account you can go through it that way once you go through that process it will send you an email to authenticate you and then you can log into the account so it's pretty interesting if you just read some of the uh, questions and answers here on the google results here they said OpenAI, OpenAI chat GPT bot is scary good, crazy fun, and unlike some predecessors, well, you can see. Uh, OpenAI invites everyone to test new AI-powered chat bot with amusing results. So it's very interesting, and I would encourage you to get an account and give it a try. And so this also is kind of related to another topic, low code, no code. So what is that? It's technology that allows business users and developers to focus on their area of expertise, thereby reducing friction. The advent of LCNC, low code, no code development platforms, are tools for people who either do not know how to code or have no time to code. So it can speed up the effort of writing code and developing systems. But AI to me is just like a whole other level. And so this new site, here is a query that I ran once I got logged into my account. I typed in here, how do I make an HTTP GET request in JavaScript with a JWT token for DigitalOcean.com API? So that's pretty specific. And yep, so here's the code. It shows creating your or feeding in your JWT token. It shows you the URL, which from last time I checked, that is correct and then using the fetch API and how it feeds in your authorization or bear token, it feeds that in and then processes the results. So that was one query. And the other kind of cool thing it remembers here, uh, your different queries. So here it says three out of three. So another one I said, how do I make a, a, an HTTP put request in JavaScript with a JWT token? And then, so if you do that, and then you click save and submit it goes ahead and generates that information for you so there's a link here to learn more so i would encourage you to click on that and it takes you to this page it's fairly long that tells you a lot more about it so you might want to give that a look and anyway so i tried some other commands here like how can i create a strappy headless cms and so it gives some instructions on how to do that. And it's high level, but it's pretty interesting. And then, well, how do I use the Strappy Starter Pack to make a back-end website? And so it listed like seven steps here. It's a good start. And then I said, well, hey, how do I create a new website homepage using the Tailwind CSS library? And so it kind of outlines the basic steps of how to get started. And then, of course, you can ask more questions if you want to keep asking it more about this. I do believe it keeps the context of your conversation in mind and it further answers more questions. 
I'm going to be trying some more of that myself. And so then here, I tried four different versions of this question, but the final one I said, in detail, please explain how to create a new website using the Python language. And so, as you can see, it laid out some, you know, pretty good steps here on how to do that. So anyway, I just wanted to make a quick video about this new AI chatbot program that's been unleashed on the world and encourage you to give it a look and try it out. If you like this channel, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when I post new content.